from like a personal yeah. from your personal how has your personal relationship with the Lord benefited from you pursuing skill house oh so many ways uh, I would say okay so quick one of the the things I've learned uh, just personal is one I wasn't the best leader I thought I was a good leader before well, not relate uh, to you in that I've become a better leader and I'm like it's made me to where I think I'm more like open-handed um mm. I didn't th- I thought I was open-handed I wasn't uh, so we started something called the creative cohort uh we launched it this March so we launched last March this March we launched the creative cohort we have three people in it uh and so they help us just so it's more like it's kind of like an internship but legally it's not an internship mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> she's putting all these disclaimers out there <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to I mean, just, yep yep mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying just, um, and so we have uh, three individuals uh, who have said yes to just coming on and coming alongside it. it's kind of like a um, a creative class and so we teach them they help us uh, and it's just mutual beneficial. They're like shadowing y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutual beneficial uh, thing. Uh, but in this process, I actually just, uh, one of them had said something. They had missed one of my instructions last week. Uh, and so I was giving like correction. Uh, and then they're like, ouch, that hurt. And I was like, oops. <laughs> like it didn't. So it, it's different. Like if you cut in like the type of like letting God prune in a, in a way that's gentle and kind. Uh, it's another when you stabbing your brother or your sister like that. It shouldn't feel like that. And I found moments where I've realized, oh, I'm stabbing people. Uh, and um, my leadership, I need to say this different. Like I'm learning a lot about communication, uh, learning a lot about uh, just the way I steward. I didn't know a lot, a lot about unity on a team. Uh, so then coming in with Chris and Jeannie, um, I realized, oh, like if we don't do it, nobody does it. And so it became like, okay, how do we do this together? And that felt like wobbly sea legs, like, let's get in. So we had a lot of hard conversations, um, hard, but like the beautiful ones uh, where like much fruit came from them. And so with the Lord, it's made me be able to have the hard conversations. I thought I was having hard conversations with the Lord. I didn't realize I wasn't like going all the way uh, to the point where we were, it was almost like, we're saying the things that I don't think I've ever said to anybody. Uh, I don't think maybe they've said to me before or, or to anybody, but like we're able to have those conversations. But I realized, oh, this is true iron sharpening iron where I am getting stronger. I'm becoming better uh, because they're c- cutting me, but not in a, to stab me, to hurt me, uh, but to just help me. Uh, and I get to do that for them. So uh, I learned, oh, I thought I was a good leader. <laughs> I was not, but I'm get, I'm learning. Uh, I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. And then too, like, uh, man, you need people to do this thing. Mm. It's better with people. Like, you need people. Like, I don't think what we're what we're doing, or even the vision and the plans we have for the future. I don't know if we could. I could do it by myself. I wouldn't want to do it by myself. It would be no fun. Uh, 